today I am working on Teddy Jr. since there is another Teddy, Teddy Sr. And Teddy Jr. is six years old, or almost six, and he is a Tennessee walking horse. little bit in his back, but mainly in his intercostal muscles, which are the muscles between the ribs. And so we were working on that and he released a lot. So, and then um, I also worked on his glutes. And so we're just gonna take a look at this side and um, see what kind of releases that he can give us. And so that he can feel so much better. I'm also gonna start this side with a mouth release because I found some tension in the neck and a lot of times I can um, release it through the mouth uh, because when you release the jaw, it can release the neck as well because a lot of these muscles are connected to the jaw and especially the omohyoid, which is down here near the pectorals, is um, connected to the hyoid bone, which is the jaw bone. So I'm gonna work on this and let's just see what we have. I'm gonna put my thumb on the roof of the mouth. And I'm just gonna sit here, see what we have, see if we can get some relaxation in that jaw. And I hold that for about 10 to 15 seconds, but mainly my goal is just to watch how the horse responds. I don't have a set um, specific way of doing it because every horse is an individual and um, I customize the massage to them. <laughs> that's a good boy. So that's a little bit more of a bigger, bigger, um, like yawn kind of feel. That one right there. So now I'm gonna just release, step back a little bit and see what we get. Do you feel better? Oh, good girl, boy. Um, and then I'm gonna go right under here and there's a pressure point, again, releasing that jaw area. I'm just gonna see what we get. He is a little mouthy, he is young. I'm not too worried about that, but I'm also paying attention because if I don't pay attention, then um, I could easily get hurt. That's it. Ah, 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 ah. Good boy, yeah. So I also found some tension behind the ears on the other side. So that's why I am doing the jaw releases because I know there's gonna be a difference there. There we go, same kind of thing. He started moving away from me. I'm just gonna hold on, put some pressure on there. But it's very light pressure. I don't do a super deep pressure um, behind the ears because then they'll get mad. <laughs> We don't want mad horses, we want relaxed and happy horses, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna start here, up here, where your rectus capitis muscle connects and it goes down to the beginning of it, the origin. And that actually goes down along the cervical spine. So then you also have your, so I find it, the origin, by finding the C1, which is the atlas um, spinal process. And you come up and then you go up an inch and you press down into that origin point. Sometimes it's two inches, sometimes it's half an inch, just depends on the horse and how big they are. Same kind of thing, skeletal structure, you're looking at, you're finding that C1 point and then you're gonna press down and in. So I'm gonna do that, hold that. Now the, the pressure is called the neuromuscular trigger therapy. Hi. And he's definitely telling me, okay, not upset with it. Probably gonna lot, got a, a decent amount of relaxation from it. Um, this also, this point is called the Golgi nerve apparatus and there's quite a few of them along the horse. They happen at the junctions where the muscles um, connect. So this is a place where the splenius muscle, which is here, the rhomboids, 
which are up here. Now that does not connect to this spot, but the brachiocephalicus muscle is connecting there. We have the multifidus cervicus muscle underneath the cervical spine. That's connecting there. And we have that rectus capitis muscle. And that also connects right there. So it's a really good point for um, anyone who is looking to just help their horse on a daily basis and in between massage if you can't get me out. Um, just to help release some of the neck tension that just builds up from riding or just being a horse. Because we all have it. <laughs> yeah, you're so much happier, aren't you? Starting to really relax. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's such a good boy. He's, yeah. Mm -hmm. So as I go down along the neck, I'm gonna just keep working that splenius. Find some of that pressure. Do you see how he's really getting into that one? There's a spot right here. I'm gonna take my nabal and I'm gonna push my body weight into it. Do not just use your hands or your arms because you will break down. <laughs> That's it. Especially on the horses that are like, let's dig deeper. A lot of times we hold it for 10 to 15 seconds, depending on what they are going to do. He's really into it. So I'm just going to wait until he relaxes. Oh, or he gives me a hug. That's good. So then he started licking and chewing and that was a nice release there. Hi, are you such a good boy? Are you such a good boy? And then again, already starting to feel that release there. You see how his upper lip is? It's a little bit like, hmm, what am I doing? What what are you what are you working on? <laughs> yeah, and then there's that tension there. So I'm just gonna keep doing that until he relaxes. Because he's telling me, keep digging, keep digging. I'm gonna find this spot right here. Again, I'm still working on that splenius muscle. Yep. Good boy. really good release. It's a real good relax, relax that jaw, blinking eyes and mouth. He's moving his mouth. Um, super good. So even though it looked a little weird, he's still really very um, so. good feeling, relaxation, like endorphins are released. Hi. <laughs> and they like it. So if you're checking, if you have shoulder issues, a lot of times you can press here and that's gonna release some of that tension and that builds up. That's it. He's not having too much of an issue with her. So I'm just gonna keep going along the body, feeling around. And we have issues in those pectoral muscles. So we're getting down into that brachialis, which is, like I said, that jaw tension, the omohyoid, they're connected. So I'm not, I'm not surprised at all that he has tension here because of that connection up in the ear and the omohyoid and all this jaw stuff that I've worked on already. That's it. So I'm just gonna hold here. Might not like it, right? You see how he's like, no, I don't know about that lady. But he's also being respectful. So I'm not in any danger and he's getting a great release. We're just waiting. And that's what I'm waiting for. So. Super good. He's doing all the right things, which is awesome. So when I work on the legs, hey, can we talk? Okay. Um, so when I work on the legs, I do a cross fiber friction, not downward, because you don't want to be pushing the blood down. Um, so you don't want to be going against the flow of the blood. So we do cross fiber friction on these upper forearm muscles, get them a little looser. They're a little tight, not too horrible. Um, and then of course, if you're palpating, you can be going down, right? But don't be doing effleurage and really going down. So I do effleurage here like this, 
and then I switch to cross fiber friction. And he's liking it. I love that he's stretching down, putting his head down. You should go boy. Okay. getting up into the withers, which is that connection with the rhomboids up here. And then we're getting into the trapezius muscle. Yeah, you such a good boy. You like that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good boy. Okay, so all these muscles feel pretty decent right now. Not surprising, because I didn't feel tension here. Felt more tension up in this neck. You're just a little tense there. You're just a little bit. But oh, you're relaxed. Would you go boy? As a wrap up, this is Mel Hitchcock with Mel's Equestrian Services. I love to help you and your horse succeed through equine massage, professional body clipping, and dressage training. You can find me on my website at melsequestrianservices.com as well as Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Mel's Equestrian Services. I hope you take a look and have a wonderful day.